we start a new chapter the first one the electric charges and fields okay now the history of this <coughs> electric charges and how it was detected and how people start started thinking about it and how the whole thing got built is very interesting in the sense that one of the first brushes of of man with electric static charges was the lightning okay in lightning the clouds they somehow have positive and negative charges the positive being lower and the negative being in the higher reaches and when two such clouds say come in contact and suddenly there is a flash or or there could be a flash within the cloud also and that is what lightning is or many a times due to the due to we'll we'll see due to such a high potential the the whole air breaks down between the cloud and the earth okay there's a there's a breakdown due to the strong field and there is a charge flow which you see as lightning it is nothing but electron flowing all across so it is current a huge amount of current it gets earthed, it gets earthed. yes okay so so and and it can be fatal okay if it hits a fellow then it can be fatal absolutely chaotic right so the tall buildings they have got pointed tridents kind of thing okay like a trishul where which which breaks breaks down first we'll also see why it does so okay so 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 it breaks down first and then it earths through a wire these are called lightning conductors <laughs> No, uh, it it could be between two clouds, but but many a times it <coughs> it hits. Hmm? I think San Francisco is uh, in US is where there's a lot of lightning, and you'll you'll go to, if you go to the net, you'll see um, eight lightning simultaneously striking. I don't know who has taken that photograph, but but it's, a, it's an absolutely stunning photograph. Okay, <coughs> so so. And and there was another thing when we when when uh, the the human being started wearing clothes and then later uh, later it was seen say say suppose you are wearing rubber soled shoes and say or silk sarees or or silk kind of shirts and you rub it against leather or something then then suddenly there are sparks or or if you are wearing woolen clothes and you are taking it out you'll get a get a sound as well as uh, in the dark you'll also get a see you can see that spark actually okay moving across <coughs> now these things were something that were not understood earlier and and people kind of began trying to understand what what it actually was and and it was benjamin franklin who who named it as positive and negative charge he saw that if if there were two things which were charged okay mutually by rubbing rubbing with each other and they were brought together then what happened was was they became neutral so it was like a positive and a negative number coming together and becoming zero so that's why he named it in the first place as as a a positive and a negative charge <clears throat> fine now a lot of things were done but but one of the one of the simple things that was seen was that if a glass rod glass rod is rubbed with silk cloth rubbed with silk then <clears throat> then both of them got charged both of them got charged the same happened with an ebonite rod when it was rubbed with cat's fur cat's they also developed charges okay so so glass rod which i i prefer to call call g and silk and and silk cloth that i prefer to call s and an ebonite is nothing but a plastic kind of thing okay so if you if you rub a plastic with cat's fur and cat's fur i prefer to call c and an interesting thing was done <coughs> you know what we did was 
there was glass rod, there was silk cloth, there was ebonite rod, and then there was cat's fur. And here also glass rod, silk cloth, ebonite rod, and cat's fur. It was seen that if there were two glass rods, so, so, so you have a glass rod which you have rubbed with, with silk cloth and, and you bring another, another glass rod rubbed with the silk cloth, then what happens? They repelled. So they repelled. They repent. Also, the silk cloth, and you have to hold it with an insulator. So maybe you are <coughs> holding it with 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 a with a silk thread, or or even while rubbing, you are maybe standing on an insulated platform, or you are wearing some rubber gloves. That will make the results better. So so the silk cloth and silk cloth brought together, they also repelled. The same. So so I'm 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 talking about two pairs of these right a pair of these and same with with a with a with a ebonite and ebonite rod they also repelled and cat's fur and cat's fur so they also repelled now the interesting thing was that glass rod and the silk cloth they attracted so glass and silk or silk and glass they will have the same thing right it is commutative Hmm? Not in the mathematical sense, but yes. Now, the the ebonite rod and cat's fur, so that also attracted. Okay, that also attracted, and CE that also attracted. Okay, so those pairs with which you had rubbed, they attracted, and those two when brought together, a cat's fur with a cat's fur, repelled. Cats were with the cats were they repelled. Okay, now the interesting thing was when the glass rod was brought in front of the <coughs> ebonite rod, it attracted. So ebonite glass glass will also attract. And the cats were and the silk cloth they also attracted, and silk and cats so they also attracted. Okay. Yes. I'm saying silk and cat's fur. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax. I'll tell you. <coughs> now, glass rod and cat's fur, they repelled. And cat's fur, so cat and glass, that will also repel. And the ebonite rod and the silk cloth, they also repelled. So silk and ebonite repelled. This is a simple observation that was tabulated like this. And, and, and you will be amazed at how science moves and how simplicity and common sense and observations, they lead to laws which are really universally applicable. Now it was, it was... It was so, so, oh, it was so discussed and it, it was so oh, seen that if there is a glass rod that has been rubbed with a silk cloth and another glass rod which has been rubbed with a silk cloth, then whatever is happening, they didn't know what is happening, okay, but whatever is happening, the same thing should be happening on both the glass rods, okay. The same thing should be happening with the glass rod and same thing should be happening with the silk cloth. So, so glass rod, glass rod repel, silk cloth, silk cloth repel. Now two ebonite rods, if they are brought together, so uh, after, after having been rubbed with the cat's fur, so, so the same thing must be happening on the ebonite rod, the same thing must be happening on the cat's fur and they are also repelling. So immediately one thing that came into being was that likes repel. So there was nothing, nothing uh, doubtful about this. This is something that is straight away given. The likes will repel. Now, 
if likes repel then what happens so somehow glass and silk they attract hmm? and cat's fur and ebonite rod they also attract now now you you will be amazed here so 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 the silk cloth and the ebonite rod they also repel it's not what does it mean that silk cloth and ebonite rod perhaps are likes so whatever has happened to the silk cloth has also happened to the ebonite rod now that is that is something that tells you that that so so silk cloth ebonite rod glass and and cat's fur they somehow develop the same kind of thing so the others and and there are only two kind of things seen so so others they attract okay so immediately it was said that unlikes will attract a very simple kind of very simple experiment okay and a very simple tabulation but but a remarkable observation okay it is a remarkable observation that and that comes from this a very very cheap and and easily demonstrable experiment understand now now so so and and one thing was seen that if if that rod and that that uh, glass rod and that silk cloth you touched together they stopped attracting or repelling each other so so they were earlier attracting attracting so they stopped attracting okay so they they became what they were before the glass rod was rubbed with silk cloth correct you understand that now they are attracting so so silk cloth and and glass rod is attracting is it not so silk cloth and glass rod is attracting so so something unlike has happened on them right silk glass so unlike has happened on them okay so that concept of positive and negative holds good something opposite has happened okay now later it was so said that that glass rod develops a positive charge when when rubbed with a silk cloth and okay and and a cat's fur and an ebonite rod must have developed developed a this is cat's fur if it looks like fur then this is c this is ebonite rod so it means when you did this and these and these this is this is glass okay and and if if glass and this repel it means the cat's fur must have developed a positive charge and here they attracted so silk cloth must have developed a negative charge this is not negative sign okay this is fur and here it is mine so this must have happened according to our observation okay so this was in a sense you can say was this was the beginning of any systematic study of electrostatics okay okay so so it's a very very simpleton kind of equation but 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 a very very fundamental one and it comes up with with a very very fundamental theorem this which is this the likes repel and the unlikes will attract fine now to detect these charges okay charges are detected by a spectroscope by a sorry by a by a gold leaf gold leaf spectroscope okay 
को ना इट्स अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल सिंपल अपैरेटिव दैट कैन बी इवन मेड एट होम्स सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी टेक अ ग्लास बॉटल we take a glass bottle and there's a cork which we put over it and through this cork that means prior to the cork being capped you you put a rod you pierce a rod through this through through the cork make it bent at this end so so this is the rod that we have pierced and you'll have to do this before you cap the bottle right and at this point i have a a gold foil okay we have gold foil so so it is say something like this there is something like this okay it is hanging on it now what happens if you if you touch this end of the rod with a charged this end of the metal rod with a with the rod say a glass rod which has been charged positive by a silk cloth then what will happen this positive charge will flow like this and both of them will become positive and since they are likes they'll repel correct so that tells you that it has the rod that you just touched was charged now the trouble is too we don't know whether the charge is positive or negative why because even in the negative charges even on the negative charges it will repel why because it will again become like but yes after this if you touch it with a negative rod what happens we will understand that this positive charge will go away so so you can you can detect whether whether what you touched with was opposite but you will never be able to know whether whether it was positive or negative the second thing is that the exact the exact amount of charge cannot be measured you cannot measure the exact amount of charge and and, and such kind of crude crude kind of equipment obviously should not measure the exact amount right it it's not capable of doing that but yes you can tell that that if if the foils are wide apart then you can tell that yes the the the, the charge here is maybe may be very high the the rod which touched it has got very high charge now though at this juncture you must be intuitively understanding what it all means just try to think there was these people didn't know the that there are atoms and there are structure of atoms and there are electrons and there is a nucleus and how things become positive and how they become negative they were absolutely devoid of that they just didn't know a thing and still they were able to kind of figure out all this currently with the current understanding we understand that it is electrons which are causing excess of electrons causing negative charge and deficiency of it is causing positive charge okay